Welcome to the Confessions Podcast. I'm Cindy Wagman. And I'm Jess Campbell. We're two former in-house nonprofit pros turned coaches and consultants to purpose-driven organizations. After years of building up our separate six-figure businesses from scratch, we've thrown a lot of spaghetti at the wall and have lived to see what sticks. We're on a mission to help other nonprofit coaches and consultants looking to start or scale their own businesses past the six-figure mark by pulling back the curtain. Whether you're still working inside a nonprofit and thinking of one day going out on your own, or you've been running your consulting business for years, you understand that working with nonprofits is just different. We're giving you access to the business leaders who serve nonprofits as their clients. You know, the people who truly get it. No more gatekeeping, no more secrets. This podcast is going to give you an inside look at what running a successful nonprofit coaching and consulting business looks like. Basically, we're asking people how much money they make, how they get paid, and what has and hasn't worked in their businesses. Listen in as these leaders share their insights, their numbers, and the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to building a nonprofit coaching or consulting business. We're going to empower you to make the power moves that give you the income and freedom you set out to create from day one. You ready? Let's go. All right. Today's podcast episode is a hybrid episode. So you're either listening as part of the Fractional Fundraising Movement private time-limited podcast, or you're listening to Confessions with Jess and Cindy. Either way, welcome. I'm so excited to be having this conversation with my colleague, Jess. Hey, Jess. Yeah. Let's do it. This is so fun. So So if you're listening through the Fractional Fundraising Movement podcast, you haven't met Jess yet, but you need to because she is my partner in crime. Truly, we are co-hosts of the Confessions with Jess and Cindy podcast, and we both serve nonprofit serving consultants and coaches. And I asked Jess, and she actually also offered. I feel like we were so in sync on this. (laughs) Insisted. (laughs) Insisted that uh, she sort of interviewed me for this episode of the podcast because it, I think it's just going to be a lot more clear uh, than me just talking to myself. So Jess. And I'm known to ask all the juicy questions. All the juicy questions. We will leave no question unanswered. I promise you listeners. Yeah. And if it makes sense, like Jess will make sure it makes sense. (laughs) Yes. Yes. Shall we dive in? Let's dive in. Okay. So for the 0.2 people that don't know what the Fractional Fundraiser Academy is, let's just start there. Yeah. Tell us about this program. Yeah. And like, you shouldn't feel bad if you don't know. I've been teasing it out, but this is the first time we're really talking about what is this program. So. The Fractional Fundraiser Academy is a training program that is designed to help you set up, launch, and get fully booked as a fractional fundraiser. And I can tell you a lot more details. That is the whole purpose of this program. So there are four phases in the academy, and we walk you through them. They're all pre recorded sessions. So you're going to start with prepare. So these are the foundations for your business. Literally, I'm going to tell you all the things you need to set up, like your bank account, registering your business. I give you a budget template, how to get paid, all of those things, You know, even getting a corporate card, everything that you need to be able to, like I said, set up your business. Mm, I love um, that so much because especially for those people like me who <laughs> get very intimidated by all of that admin stuff, having a play-by-play of all of those necessary but maybe less sexy side of business yeah. tasks sounds like a dream. Okay, yeah. keep going. And also I should add, we also do like light branding stuff of in there. So, you know, how to look professional online. And as a bonus, you get a a website template that's like basically ready to to go. You just upload your photos Mm -hmm. and you have a beautiful web page with all the language that we've used on our page to get clients. So 
That's nice. all part of the prepare. Like you will be able to, honestly, you can probably get set up in a week. If you want to take longer, that's fine, but it's all there for you. Okay. Cool. Then the second phase is propose. So I walk you through a sales funnel. Like what is a sales funnel? How do we understand our audience? And then from there, how do you find your clients and close the deal? And literally I have templates, a proposal template again, that we've used. It's pre-populated. I think there's like three slides that you need to change. One of them is your bio. And one of them is based on the conversation you have with your prospective clients. Everything else is there for you. How to have sales calls, how to manage um, when someone says no, all of those things are there. Beautiful. And then I know it's very comprehensive, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Um, <laughs> and then phase three is produce. So this is really important for me. I don't just want you to set up and have a business. I want you to have a business that has an impact. And our process in like what it means to be acting as a fractional fundraiser is all built in there. How you get started with clients, how you, what are your priorities for the first couple months? How do you set and manage expectations with them? Everything is there so that you're actually getting them results because that is critical. Like I'm not in the business of just trying to sort of focus on, on your end. To me, it's really critical that your clients are happy too. So that's produce. Totally. Absolutely. And talk about a direct link into referral business and repeat Mm -hmm. clients and all of that jazz. Exactly. And then the fourth phase is play. And this is where you've been doing this work for a little bit and you can start to picture what's next for you. Do you want to continue doing this full time? Do you want to take on some other work? You get to be in control and decide what the future of your business looks like. I always say this is such a great. There's a couple people this is a perfect program for. One is if you're taking the leap into consulting. It is so turnkey to get you up and running with stable clients. There's some assumptions that I actually haven't mentioned, which is you work with clients on 12-month contracts. Oftentimes they get renewed. You only need three clients to be fully booked and making over six figures. Like it's a very secure, risk-free business model for you to get started consulting. But I also see a lot of existing consultants love this for a couple banner clients that gives them the stability and and predictability in their revenue so that they can do some other work and whether those, you know, peaks and troughs or ups and downs and that typically come with consulting. I love it. Okay. So you did just right now touch a little bit on expectations and what goals people could perhaps expect to have. Can you, you talked about it from a financials perspective. Can you talk about it from a time perspective? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you bet. Before I do, I should also mention that when this is a six month program, there is an option to continue to be part of our community, but the community I didn't mention is really critical. We have you get to be part of this community of fractional fundraisers. I have office hours every week and we have lunch and learns once a month and we have a very active Slack channel and internal referrals. So when people are fully booked, they'll send referrals to other people. So the community piece is not something I want to gloss over. It's really critical. So, so what supportive. is this? Yeah, it, it's amazing. I have to say, I really love the community. So what does this mean for you and your goals? So. One of the reasons I started this is that there, first of all, there's a gap in the sector in terms of serving small organizations. So I personally was the director of development at a very large institution, and I kind of felt like a sellout. <laughs> like I didn't want to be helping MBA students get scholarships. I wanted to serve frontline organizations that were on the cusp of social justice change. And those organizations could never afford to pay me six figures. Never. And so you get to work for the organizations that you care most about, but at the same time, make more money because I did like 
right away. And everyone, almost everyone, some people have doubled their income with this model, but also the time freedom. Like it is so, I look back on my last full-time job and I literally, I would talk to my boss on my drive home because she like was so, she wanted to just unwind for the day and like talk to me about work. So like, imagine I just left the office and then for the next 20 minutes, still talking to my boss (laughs) on the phone and, you know, traveling a lot, all the things. And I have two young kids. Now I get to cancel all my meetings if I want to, and, you know, go on my kids field trip. And I've literally done that. During the summer, I don't, I usually only work three days a week. One of our members, and you're going to hear from these people in the fractional fundraising movement podcast, like Betty took a whole month off this year and traveled around the world. She was in Japan for a bit and some other places. I just, you know, Laura just posted uh, in our Slack channel, it's March break as when next week when we're, as we're recording this, she's like, yeah, I'm going to be off for March break. The freedom and flexibility that you have, and it's not just for kids, it's for, you know, aging parents or, you know, being there for yourself and like Betty traveling the world. These are things that feel so out of reach when you're in-house or when you're a consultant and you feel like you don't have the stable income, you feel like you have to say yes to every piece of work. And that's also really challenging because then you never get a break. I don't know about you, but I see a lot of consultants who are like nonstop saying yes to everything because they don't know when that's going when the revenue will dry up. Yeah, it's really common and it's a recipe for burnout for sure. Yeah. Okay, let's next talk about the learning journey because I know that it's a process and people um, have different learning styles. And so how have you addressed that in FFA so that this really does work for every single person that comes into the program? Yeah. So it's designed to be really accessible and to be able to move you forward in bite sizes. So I don't think most of my training videos are under five minutes. And also it's a lot of fun. We have a really fun platform that celebrates your success and progress because it's all about progress, right? I, you're not going to see like success just by doing one thing. You see success by doing small things and grow towards that. And so our whole system is designed to reinforce that idea and have fun and celebrate and get support. That's so much part of the community I mentioned before is you actually, you know, it's not like um, fully self-taught where I'm there. There are, I know today, two of our members met up for like a co-working session. You are not, I know I love that too. (laughs) You are not alone. We do have people from all over. So you might be the only person in your community. Like we have we have someone who works out of Lebanon. We have someone who works out of Vancouver, different places like that. But as this grows, you might find people local to you as well. So it's designed for all learning styles, but most importantly, it's designed to get you taking action. You know, fundraising, I'm showing you the business of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you just mentioned support and you've mentioned things kind of um, at various points along our conversation, but break it down. Like what does support really look like? And I kind of equate support with accountability. Mm, so, mm-hmm, I love that. Um, so how, what, what does that break it down for us really yeah. look like? Yeah. So I would say the front line really is our Slack channel. And I post, we actually have an accountability channel in the Slack workplace where I show you what you need to post daily for your accountability so that you show up and move forward. So we actually talk a little bit about productivity in there. So there's that. And like I said, people share with each other what's going on or support each other in answering questions. But then I'm also in the Slack channel, usually not Fridays, but I'm there also answering questions. I also have weekly office hours. So this is for people to drop in or stay for the whole time. Actually, a lot of people just come because they get to see each other. It's on Zoom and it's an opportunity to troubleshoot 
directly with me. So I've coached people through challenging clients, through sales, various things like that. Uh, even some technical things. Again, you should know fundraising, but I don't expect everyone to know everything about fundraising. So sometimes those kinds of questions come up as well. And then the monthly lunch and learns are designed to help you either learn the business side of things or deepen your fundraising knowledge. And so we'll have experts come in and share some fun, some fun stuff uh, that will help you. Okay, great. And how long do people have access to the Slack channel, to the weekly support, to the lunch and learns? Yeah. So that is a six month access program. At the end, I will uh, make an offer for you to continue to have to be part of that community at a very affordable rate. But we we will cross that bridge when we get there. Yes. Okay. Well, then that leads nicely into a question I know everyone's wondering about, which is the investment. Mm-hmm. And outside of time, that's probably one of people's top considerations. So break it down. What is the investment to be a part of this six month container? Yeah. So it's $1,500 a month for six months, uh, plus tax, depending on where you live. And that is Canadian dollars. Now, if you really wanted to pay the $9,000 up front, you absolutely are welcome to. It's a up that way, but I actually intentionally made it a monthly investment because essentially, as soon as you get your first client, you're in a positive monthly cash flow. So my goal for for everyone is that they the first thing is like get your first client, right? That's the very first milestone that we um, are working towards. And I'm gonna say. I want people to pick, like they actually have to pick a goal if they're going to get their first client in two, three, or four months. So depending on when you get that client, at that point, you become cash flow positive. So that investment, you're only out of pocket for a little bit of time. So it's designed to really make it, again, less risky, more comfortable, and safer for people to take that step. I should also mention, I haven't mentioned some of the stories of of current members talk about this, but people often will start while they're still in their full-time job. Mm. And so again, thinking of cash flow, it's a lot less risky. Oftentimes they will only give notice after their, like once they confirm their first and sometimes second client. So sometimes they'll do one client while they have a full-time job and then give notice when they have a second. So Mm -hmm. I get like, this is designed to be less risky if you want to do consulting than other models that require you to just like jump into the abyss. Okay. Amazing. I just have to add in my own personal experience to reinforce this ROI because at this point in my personal fundraising consulting career, I don't take on any new retainer clients. That's not how you can work with me, but I've got two that I just can't quite shake. (laughs) I've literally been with one of them for six years. And if I think about, it was a referral, it was, um, passed to me. The introduction was passed to me by someone in my network, which I know that you are a big teacher of referral marketing and Mm -hmm. networking. And I could calculate, but it's been a hundred, hundreds of thousands of dollars at this point that this one client has paid me over six years. And yeah. so I I can understand how maybe the number Cindy shared might be like a little bit like, oh, okay, but you will literally make that back in two months time using yeah. the methods that Cindy teaches inside the program. And then you will have that client for as long as basically you want to have them. Um, yeah. Because what I know for sure is that one thing nonprofits despise is going out and finding new staff people or new consultants to work with, especially if you're good. They would just want to keep you forever. Exactly. So the next episode of the Fractional Fundraising Movement podcast is actually interviewing one of those clients. And this model is so, so beneficial for them. We've seen two, three-year client contracts. At that point, point, usually it's grown enough that it's probably bigger than most of us want to take on. But 
yeah, it's stable. And like I said before, you actually only need three clients to be working kind of full time. So it's very, you know, I, we didn't talk a little bit about the business development, but to me, that was also critical because I know, which ironically, a lot of fundraisers still don't like business development, even though it's very similar to fundraising. But when it's for your business, it feels different. And the goal is like, you don't need to go out and hustle all the time, right? That's also not what's going to make you excited. It's really designed to focus on client work and focus on their success. So you don't have to spend all the time and other investments in doing business development. Okay. Which leads really nicely into you have this tool mm-hmm. to help people like break it down in a yeah. way mathematical, super like logic. <laughs> if you are, if you follow wealth dynamics and you dig all this stuff, I'm guessing you have very like Lord energy. If you don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know right? what you're talking about. Oh, well, I have the exact opposite of I know. Lord energy shocker. So. I, I probably have <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100% totally. Lord energy, yeah, whatever that yeah. means. <laughs> um, our friend Jordan Gill also is 100% okay. Lord energy. So it's not a bad thing at all. It's just yeah. someone who really likes the kind of numbers and details mm-hmm. and things like that. So how do you help us yes. figure out exactly what to do or how much you're going to make or how much time it's going to take or all mm-hmm. those things. So if you are like me and you need to see the numbers to believe it, um, I don't know why, but it, I find comfort in that. I feel like it makes it feel more real and achievable. I have a budget template coming out on April 12th. And literally it is the budget that I use in my business tweaked a little bit because mine is a little complicated, Um, but it's tweaked a little bit to make it very clear. You can plug in exactly when you think you will get clients and your expenses are pretty much pre-populated, but you can tweak them if you want and it will show you your cash flow. It has expenses. Oh yeah. Everything's in there. Everything. It will give you your cash flow. It will tell you what your salary equivalent is after expenses. And it will allow you to understand how much money you need to put away for your taxes. So it is pretty, like I said, this is like where I personally need this information before I make decisions. And so I know there are some people out there like me um, who want to see it. And so April 12th, that will be available and you can plug in your numbers and tweak them as you want, but it it is all designed in formulas to make it, uh, very clear on your cash flow. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And if anyone is listening and that feels intimidating, like you don't need to use, Oh, you don't need, (laughs) (laughs) but also I think it, for someone like me who maybe that's not the first thing that comes to mind, having a template to get me started is going to get me to use it a lot faster than creating something on my own. So <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And if at minimum that it's designed to make you understand what your cash flow looks like and how much money you need to put aside for taxes so that you don't have a huge bill at the end of the year that you can't pay. And the rest you can kind of just leave if you don't, if you're not a numbers person because we are building smart businesses, people, not loosey goosey ones. Okay. So we want people to, who are serious about joining to be the ones that are having conversations with you and asking all the questions. And so because of that, you have an application. Yes. Can you talk to us about how to apply for that application, how long that application takes place and what are the steps that come after filling out that application? Mm-hmm. So the application is really important for uh, for the community, mo- mostly. If anyone has known me for a little bit of time, um, I'm very clear about our values as a company uh, aligned to anti-racism, anti-oppression, and social justice. And so it's critical for me to maintain that in the communities that we're creating. So there's a very short application. It's talks about that. And just like to make sure that this is right for you. If I don't think you're going to be successful in this, I'm going to tell you up front and save you all the time. So there's a very quick application. 
what I'm doing is we're having kind of like a fast acting sale day the day before we have our open house. So if you're interested in getting early access for fast acting people, there's going to be some bonuses. So if you're like, yes, I know I'm in, um, then you can sign up to be part of the sort of VIP wait list to have access to that. But I'm also letting you get pre-approved. So let me break down the timelines because it is a little bit complicated. You can sign up for the wait list anytime between now and April 23rd. Our fast acting, let's call it a flash sale, is on April 24th. In order to, and then April 25th, we have the open house where again, I'm going to go into more details. I will actually show you the back end of the the business or not the business of the portal and what you get. You're getting my current members are going to be there. So if you still want more information, I got you. But if you're like, I know I'm ready, then the 24th is the sort of flash sale for people who are pre-approved. So what I want you to do is go to the wait list now and I will make sure you get information to apply in advance. If you are approved, I will tell you if you're approved or not approved. If you are approved, I will also give you access to me for a 15, 20 minute call to answer any questions you have. And I'm trying to make myself available as much as I can so that you are totally confident in making that decision for the flash sale. I'll talk a little bit about the bonuses for the flash sale in a minute. But once we have the open house, the flash sale is done, the pre-approval done. Then if you're interested, you apply. Same process after you apply, I'll let you know one way or another. If you are approved, you can go ahead and register or you can request a, a call with me. Either is totally fine. Like I said, I'm here to make it easy for people. So I hope that explains a very complicated uh, yeah. procedure. Process. Yeah, I think basically, yeah. if you're super interested, apply. Yeah. And Cindy will let you know straight away if you are the right fit or you're not a right fit. And that's yeah. for all the reasons she said at the beginning. Simple as that. Exactly. So, okay, you teased us a little bit about mm-hmm. bonuses um, yeah. for folks that are like, I'm in, sign me up. What are they? Yes. Okay. So for, if you are ready to take action, because as I said before, this is all about taking action. If you're ready to take action and you are pre-approved on April 24th for one day only, I'm opening up registration to the Academy and you will have, if anyone who registers on that day will get some bonuses. So what are they? The what are first, they? <laughs> yeah. the first is, um, you will be included on an introduction email to the Good Partnerships email list. Okay, so this is an email list where every time I've needed to drum up new clients, I send an email and everyone gets fully booked. So it's they understand the model and there will be one email for all the people who, uh, like introducing all the people who took action on that fast acting uh, flash sale high, like it's a great list and a great opportunity to get you in front of thousands of more people. Mm -hmm. That's really, Um, really generous. Thank you. (laughs) Um, Also, you are going to have access to what I call Pitch Perfect, which is a private workshop on pitching podcasts to be guests there. So that's another way that you can um, grow your audience and be positioned as an expert and you might know this about me. I have a lot of experience with podcasts. Um, <laughs> and a lot of experience with poor pitches. <laughs> yeah. So A, I've pitched very successfully to be on other podcasts. I receive podcast pitches all the time. I can I know what's good and what's not good. Uh, and I will teach you that as well. And then I also have a very special bonus for the first five people who enroll on that flash sale day only. So again, these are pre-approved people. If you are one of the first five people to sign up on that day, you will also get your very own episode uh, as a guest on my other podcast, The Small Nonprofit, um, which has 
consistently ranked one of the top podcasts in Canada, if not North America, for in the nonprofit space. We have fun fact. That's how I found (laughs) Cindy many years ago. That's how I discovered you. Yeah. So it, I, I don't want to say this about myself, but someone said I was one of the OG nonprofit podcasts, but I've been doing this, I think, uh, for at least four or five years. I don't even remember anymore, but yeah, there's a pretty good listenership there and very engaged. And so you get to be to have your very own full length episode where we can talk about you and your business and the organizations you want to help. So that is priceless uh, exposure. I love it. Amazing. Okay. Those are the bonuses. Everyone, they are juicy, not to be missed. Okay. So let's just like wrap it all together in a nice bow. (laughs) You're listening to this podcast. Um, Let's break down maybe in like timeline order of things that are happening and what you can expect if you are ready, as you said, to take action. Awesome. All right. So basically right now, this is being released on April 3rd, where I'm giving you, as you know, all the details of the program. We're going to continue to have podcast episodes released as part of the Fractional Fundraising Movement podcast. Again, it is a private podcast podcast. If you're listening, you're already signed up or you are listening to the Confessions podcast. Uh, You can go to thegoodpartnership.com slash pod to sign up if you're not already. So we're going to continue releasing those. And as of today, you when you join the wait list, you will be invited to get pre-approved for the uh, for the program. April 12th, we're going to deliver the budget template. April 16th, or I guess, yeah, 16th to 19th. If anyone's at AFP Icon, Jess and I are going to be there. Happy to talk to you there as well. Come Come visit us. Yeah. April 16th, we're going to open registration for the open house, which is kind of like a webinar, but actually a little bit more straightforward, where I'm going to show you, as I said, all the things. So, Registration opens April 16th, April 24th. Anyone who's been pre-approved for the program will have access to the flash sale or fast acting sale for that day only. And as I said, the first five people who enroll that day will also get the extra bonus. April 25th, we have the open house and cart closes May 9th. And what that means, if anyone has not run a launch before, because some of this feels really jargony, is that that's when you have to enroll by if you want in. Uh, at this point, I actually don't know the next time we will be opening enrollment. So I, it will open again, I promise, but I can't tell you when and I can't tell you how much will cost. So this is the only launch that I will guarantee all of the information that we shared today. So April, not April, May 9th, cart closes, the doors close to this program until we'll see. Nice. Okay. Super helpful. I've been sharing this statistic everywhere. So I'm going to share with the audience right now that 74% of at least um, millennials and Gen Z tend to buy something from people they don't know, a la an influencer and trust influencers more so than people that they know, their friends and family. And so I don't know if I'd consider myself an influencer, but I am someone (laughs) other than Cindy talking about this program. And I just have to say, I've been at this for about six years. And if I would have had a kind of start your consulting business in a box handed to me, I would have saved hours of time, months of time, years of time. I would have saved myself thousands of dollars And I would have saved myself a ton of stress and anxiety because it's been a lot of spaghetti on the wall. Now, (laughs) you can do it that way. That is okay. (laughs) Not recommended. And so if you're serious and you're not wanting to be the slow hair who gets, you know, at it slow and steady, this is a way to really jumpstart your business in 
a way that's supportive, that has accountability, and has a, literally every tool you could imagine to make yourself successful. So I am so proud of you, Cindy. I'm so honored. I got to hear all of this information and go get it. Thank you. At least get pre-approved. Get pre-approved. And one, two things I'll say to Jess's point, like, don't just take it from me. Uh, This, the Fractional Fundraising Movement podcast has lots of interviews of, with people who are who've successfully gone through the program, who are, you know, full-time fractional fundraisers now running their own businesses, you will hear how it served them. And if you're interested in why I started this business and like how we came up with this model and how it's grown and scaled over the years from me doing it in-house with a small team to now a whole network of people, I talk about that in the first episode of the Fractional Fundraising movement podcast. So go back and listen to that. If you haven't already, I really do think that this model is a win, win, win. And that's been really important for me as I make decisions in my business that it has to serve the organizations. It has to serve the people I work with. So my students or or network And at the end of the day, I'm not going to lie, it also has to serve me. And I also want to encourage people to own that they get to build the life and make the money that they want to make. So um, it's designed to do all three in what I feel like is a really thoughtful way. But again, don't take it from me. Listen to Jess and the other other people of this podcast, because um, you've got a lot of people who are thriving in their businesses and yeah, the numbers don't lie. So yeah. Um, Thanks Thanks. Jess so much for interviewing me for this. Absolutely. My pleasure. (laughs) And of course um, you will include all the links below for all the different things that you can access, but the most important one to get pre-approved is to go to the wait list, the goodpartnership.com slash wait list. And um, once you do that, we will make sure you get the information to apply for pre-approval. So thanks again. We'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you again for listening to the Confessions Podcast for nonprofit coaches and consultants. If you enjoyed today's episode, which I sure hope you did, you can show your support in one of three ways. Number one, post a screenshot of this episode to your Instagram stories or LinkedIn profile and tag Cindy and us so we can repost you. Number two, share this podcast with a fellow nonprofit coach or consultant. And number three, leave a positive review on Apple Podcasts so we can continue to grow and reach new listeners. And of course, make sure you subscribe so you can get the latest and greatest interviews as they drop every Thursday. And to our fellow nonprofit coaching and consulting friends, remember, we're an open book and here to answer your burning biz questions. See you next time.